Hello there! In this video I want to share with you some ideas you can use for Midjourney prompts. There are a lot of images you can create in Midjourney, but to do it well you need to understand how you can use your imagination. And sometimes it's really hard to create something unique. So in this video I want to show you how you can use a little bit of some prompts add it to your uh, prompt original and create something unique. So I have already created many different images in many different styles. So the first one is Art Nouveau style. There is a picture cat on a sofa in Art Nouveau style. Let's check this image. Just look how this cat looks like. And there is a different image in the same style, Art Noir. Car on the street in Art Noir style. Open the browser. Wonderful. In my opinion, it's wonderful. The next, Castle on the Mountain in Art Noir style. I just want to show you the different images in the same style. It's a pretty amazing picture for your coloring book for kids or for some another book with some story. Okay, the next one. Now it's abstract expressionism style. Cat on a sofa in abstract expressionism style. Hard to pronounce. Okay. Angry cat the same Oof. the same art style Oops. abstract abstract expressionism style oh my god car on the street open the browser here it is these four images let's check the next one castle on the mountain you just can compare different styles and the same prompt. Impressionism style. Cafe on a Paris street. There are some different lines. I don't like it. But the image is amazing. The next one, I just try to create something not so strict. There is frog in sunglasses in the same impressionism style. It's Midjourney version 5. The next, surrealism, dog on a sofa in surrealism style. Pretty sad dogs. more happy than other surrealism style raccoon in the why i wrote in the skateboard sorry on the skateboard surrealism i think he broke his skateboard <laughs> Let's check out the one. Now it's kawaii style. Raccoon is called, uh, on a skateboard. Now it's right in kawaii style. Funny one. Scary. The next kawaii style. Cute owl in kawaii style. Now. The next style, Cubism, little girl that playing with a ball in Cubism style. Who knows, maybe you will create something like this. The next, Cat on a sofa in Cubism style. The next one is Pop Art style, Elephant in the jungle. I really like this one. The second image. The first one. Third. 
and fourth. Let's check. Car on the street in uh, Fauvism style. I like uh, again the second image. Cute, cute cat on the sofa in Fauvism style. Castle on the mountain in Barocco style. Baroque style. Now the third one is more interesting for me than another one. Bird on a tree in Baroque style. And before we we'll continue this video, don't forget to give me a thumb button and subscribe to this channel if you like such kind of videos. And hit this notification bell to see when I produce new video. Let's continue. Now I want to show you 8-bit style. Cat on a sofa in 8-bit style. There is our cats. The next one. Kid and TV in a 8-bit style. Doesn't look like 8-bit style. The same. Neo from Matrix movie in 8-bit style. <laughs> the next style is Renaissance. Neo from Matrix movie in Renaissance style. No, Renaissance style, charge in Renaissance style. Okay, raccoon uh, on a skateboard in Renaissance style. Now it's Rococo style, the same prompt, but other style. Now Neo from Matrix movie in Rococo style. Come on, it's me Johnny Fire, where, where is your hand? Oh, here it is. <laughs> Romanticism style, lying in a jungle. As you see, sometimes it appears with some kind of text on it. And some lines. This is a perfect one, the first. Girl on the street in Romanticism style. Almost photorealistic style. Almost. Beautiful image. Minimalism style. Car on a street. Frog in sunglasses on a skateboard in minimalism style. Pretty cool frog. This one is pretty good. There is a frog, just a frog. I try to use some other prompt because the previous one doesn't look like uh, minimal, minimalism style. So I tried to figure out what I can to use in prompt to change it. Conceptual art style, line on a crowded street.
pretty interesting images. So turn on your imagination and just try to create something unique, something different. Style Neo from Matrix movie. Cat in a conceptual art style. Angry cat. Angry cats. My god. Post impressionism style. Dragon in post impressionism style. No, old man in post impressionism style. Next is Dadaism style. Dragon in Dadaism style. It's pretty interesting style, but almost every time you type this Dadaism style, it creates something different. As you see, almost every image is different, but just have a look. The same Dadaism style line, but as you can see, it's a pretty different images. But this is Dadaism style, the same Dadaism. Now it's Art Deco style, line, line on a skateboard. BMW, we call in an Art Deco style. Very impressive. Mm, especially this one. Girl on a beach in Art Deco style. Now it's mandala style. Elephant head in mandala style. For those of you who thought about colon page, there is colon page elephant head in mandala style, thick lines, simple graphic. And these images is more preferable for color, especially this second one. Now, apple in mandala style. Little boy on a street in neoclassicism style. It's almost photorealistic style, so I'm not sure about this style, but I just want to show you. Maybe you need it. There is neoclassicism style also, but it's pretty different images. Symbolism style, car on a street. The next, symbolism style, cat on a sofa. Oh my God, this is a glitch. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, it's not a tail, not supposed to be. Robert Downey Jr. in symbolism style. Hmm. 
is almost uh, Guillermo del, del Toro. Cat on a beach in abstract art style. Girl in a head in abstract art style. And the last one, Neo from the Matrix movie in abstract art style. Now you know more than 20 different styles and you can choose whatever you want and create something unique, something different. And now I'm pretty sure that now you will be able to create something unique a lot more easier. You can also save this video to your playlist. There is a button that you can click on. If you didn't know how to create a consistent character for your coloring book, you can click on this video where I tell you everything in detail. But if you want to know more about Amazon KDB, there is a playlist where I collect every video you should to know how to create a perfect book and upload it directly to the Amazon KDP. So this is it. Wish you a good luck and hope I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.